ladies and gentlemen, Pierce Brosnan. I was 11 years old. I had just left the wild countryside of Ireland and moved to London. The very first week I was there, my parents took me to the pictures, as we called them then. This was not unusual in itself. We went to the movies a great deal in Ireland. But that day was different, because the movie was Goldfinger. Now, I had grown up watching black and white movies, but this picture was in Technicolor. And the image of that half-naked woman painted in gold was etched deeply in my 11-year-old Catholic <laughs> psyche. But most importantly, that was the first time I'd seen Sean Connery. Yes, his character was suave and sophisticated, dangerous and sexy. But I also knew that the actor was a Scotsman. And the message that sends to a proud young Celtic kid is immeasurable. Time marched on, and years later, I was filming The World Is Not Enough. One day, I had to shoot this massive stunt, a big fireball sequence. The shot required me to hang on these wires as this ferocious fireball came hurtling down behind me, and of course, do it all like James Bond would do it. Anyway, I did it, and we got the take, and I was dismissed for the day. But out in the parking lot, as I was putting my gear into the Back of the car, I looked up, and there was the big man, Sean Connery, standing there right in front of me. And he said, I've just seen what you did there. Very good. I was silent. And then he asked me a question, one that has stayed with me to this very day. He said, are they paying you enough money? <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I answered, and it didn't really matter, because the great man had seen me do my bit of bond, and then he was gone. Sean, I have walked in your cinematic footsteps and danced in the shadow you have cast on film history. As an actor, I carry you both in my head and in my heart. You are a man who has marched to his own drum, who has created his own legend far greater than Bond, and who has done mighty work that will be cherished forever. And in many ways, I am still that 11-year-old boy, awash in the image of you and Goldfinger, and all the dreams that the movies give us. Mine have come true, in large part thanks to you, and I am deeply honored to be here tonight. Congratulations, Sir Sean Connery. <laughs> 